I am actually going to be showing you how to make your swatch book for your Spectrum Noir alcohol markers. Um, they are actually really nice markers. Uh, a lot of people are considering them the more affordable option versus the Copics, and they are. Um, they're a lot cheaper than the Copics. But they also have a lot of great blending abilities, so I wouldn't consider them the cheaper version of the Copics. Um, I would just consider them their own brand of alcohol markers. Just because of the fact that, you know, they have their own blending abilities and their own color consistencies that are much different than the Copics, I believe. So, when you get your um, Spectrum Neuro markers, they're going to come in a package like this. Okay. And they come six in, a, six in a package. And you can also buy the 24 pack. Um, and then when it, you go to use them, you can either leave them in the package or you can put them in to a tote. Um, the thing about the markers is they have to be stored on the side. So um, you don't want to store them up and down like this because if you do, all the alcohol ink is actually going to run to the bottom. Um, and that's not what you want to do. You want to be able to have them nice and evenly placed. Okay? So once you have them out of the package, you're going to realize that the colors on the caps are close to accurate on what the color of the inks are, but they're not exact. Um, so, and for a lot of times, you know, it's not going to matter if they're exact, but if I'm spending 20 minutes coloring a stamped image or some sort, I want it to be exact. I want to know exactly what color I'm going to be using. So, um, you make a swatch book. Now, I searched high and low for a swatch book for this, and um, Spectrum Noir offers a colored sheet to let you know which markers you have and which markers you need, but they don't offer a swatch book. Um, so I'm going to come in right now and I'm going to give you guys a swatch book. Uh, you're going to be able to download it right from my website and it's going to be free, you know, no charge for it. And it's also going to be really, really easy to put together. Um, I made all the sizes correct, you know, it's going to be an inch and a half by eight inches when you're done. You're also going to have this cover and you're also going to be able to make, you know, your own blending and recipes that some of the sites offer. Okay. So, when you go to my website and you're going to find the Spectrum New York file under free designs, you're going to actually get one sheet that looks like this, okay? And I did them this way versus, you know, making actual strips. This way you can make it any size you want. If you only want it one inch by eight inches, you can. If you want it two inches by eight inches, you can. It's not going to matter either way. Um, I like an inch and a half. It's easier to hold, easier to store. It's just the right size because all you need is just a sample of the colors and as you see when it's done it kind of looks like a Pantone book or a paint book so it's kind of neat looking um, just to even look at with all the colors so anyways like I said when you're on the blog you're gonna get a zipped file and the zipped file is going to have the cover and in another file it's going to have this PDF Okay, and this PDF is extremely easy to open. You know, you open it like you normally would. And I went ahead and I printed six sheets of this. Okay. Now, what you're going to do when you open this and you print it out, you are going to let your ink dry unless you're using a laser. I used a laser, so, you know, it's already dry, not a big deal. Because you are going to be placing alcohol ink on top of it. So you don't want it the black to blend into the colors. Um, so... Once your ink is dry, you're just going to come in and you'll see with your margins, you've got this white part right here. Okay, so you're just going to come in and you're going to remove that part. Okay. And then you're going to just start going in an inch and a half, inch and a half, inch and a half. Okay, so...
And I'm using my Fisker's Rotary Plate Cutter because I love it. Um, I was using just a slide cutter and I was going through blades like a maniac for some reason. Like every single, if I went to a crop, I would have to buy a new blade. And um, the blades were kind of pricey. If you think about it, you know, we, if it was only like $5.99 for two blades, but you're using them so much, it was racking up a cost. And uh, I ended up getting one of these because I was at a crop and one of my friends at the crop, she had one and she absolutely loved it and said she's only replaced the blade like once a year. That's right there, totally worth the extra money to buy this cutter. So, um, anyways, off of the eight and a half by 11 sheet, I ended up with four, five, six, seven, right? <laughs> yes, seven of these, six up. So you end up with 35 little swatch pieces, all right? Now, once you have them cut, you're going to see this big square right down here. Okay. That's where you're going to cut your half inch off to make it eight inches. So I stack mine all together because I can with my rotary cutter. You may not be able to, if you've got a slide blade cutter. So I'm just going to put it right at the eight inch mark. Come in and chop. All right. Alright, so now that I'm done with that, basically all I'm going to do is I'm going to come in, um, keep your packaging for your markers, obviously, and it says reds, so that's just the color combo. Now, I store mine per six package, and that's because in this package they give you three blendables colors. They give you three, or I'm sorry, two sets. So you have one set which is a lighter set and you got one set which is a darker set and that's a blendable set. So um, you, when you make your swatch, you want them there. So the reds are right here. So this first set right here is blendable and then this set right here is blendable and if they're going to be nice seamless blendabilities. Okay. So what I did was I just went reds. And I started listing off the colors, CR8, CR10, CR11, DR5, D, R7. Okay. And then all you do is you just come in and you grab your markers. Now, when doing this, I suggest putting a piece of paper underneath it because you're going to run off of the swatch. So I have my little self-healing inky mat here. All right, and then it's CR8. I'm going to just color in the part right above CR8. Okay, there you go. I now have a swatch of that color. Okay, so then I'm going to go CR10. I gotta find okay <clears throat> there it is and you know we're looking at reds here right that's what I had a problem with and that cap right there is orange so and I think it colors a little bit orange too. So even though you're in the red package, you have an orange. So that's why you want to do the swatch book. Because this right here, the little swatch that they give you, that's CR10. Okay, it looks red, but when you color it, it looks orange. So, yes, CR10. I picked up some alcohol ink. All right, so. And you're just going to continue doing that. Just good. go ahead and continue doing it through all of your ink colors. Don't forget there's 168 ink colors. Um, so you're just going to go through and make your swatch book up of them. And then when you're done, um, you want to also you know print out your cover. And you're going to punch a hole. 
with your crocodile or any hole punch that you have but I used my crocodile because I can do multiple sheets at a time and because I did this at inch and a half I was able to set my crocodile hole punch at three quarters of an inch okay and I was able to just grab this right here and no matter where I did it it was right in the middle of the page see that so I would just punch it and there you go that's my first swatch book now um, when I said that you were able to do you wanted to try to keep these you know together is because they're able to be blended so say you want to do a blending between CR8 and CR10 you're able to and I'm going to go ahead and put the lighter color down first your CR10 okay you're going to see the blending start to happen so um, you can come in and you can do your CR11 Some people with these are really good and they're able just to come back with a lighter color and they're able to just spread it out. So, now alcohol ink is very wet ink as you see, it goes through the other side. So I'm just going to hit with my heat gun if it's plugged in and it's not. Okay, so now you have a blended piece. Okay, with three different colors. And these were the top three colors of the reds package. Alright, so you have CR8, CR10, and CR11. Okay. Alright, so if I was going to now keep this in the back of my book of three blended colors, I would just go CR8, C. R10 and CR11, letting me know that the colors were in the blending. Now, I know if you go to the Spectrum Newer site or go onto the YouTube channel and everything else like that, you're able to use their formulas and learn how to um, blend ink colors there. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you, I haven't really got into the blending and just kind of do the, the coloring part of it. So, um, once I get going, you're going to start seeing some more videos. I'm going to start going through it and um, doing more videos on how to do the blending of the faces with the ink colors and stuff. So, you want to be on the lookout for that because they're going to be kind of cool. Alright, so once you have this all together and all ringed up, this is what it's going to look like. Here are my blank sheets back here for mixed colors. Alright. And of course, you know, this is just a ring. You're able to open this ring up and add more sheets if you want. Okay, so, you know, if I keep running into more and more and more blending pieces that I like, I just add a bigger ring to it. It's not going to be that big of a deal. All right, um, now, the first time that you do do this, it's going to take some time because you are, you know, labeling and coloring the correct way, you know, with the blending color. And, um, once it's done though it's going to be a lot easier like say i want to color a face there's my colors my flesh colors all right so um and again you're lighter to dark here so i already know that those are going to mix you're lighter to dark here i already know they're going to mix so um i hope this was helpful for you um don't forget the 
files are going to be actually on my blog, so and they're going to be free. So you're able to go right to the blog and download them, cut them, and start coloring away and organizing your stuff. Um, please feel free to share the link for the items. Don't just share the items. I want people to go over to the blog and watch the video on how to do this and stuff. So um, they are free for personal use only. Don't try to sell them. Um, if you do get published or some item um, with these swatch books, just go ahead and shoot me over um, an email or something and link back to me. All right, that's all I ask. Other than that, um, please feel free to use them. Uh, I did have to create the actual files and you know, the actual cover and stuff. So other than that, uh, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, you can ask them below. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and subscribe to my blog because I try to put multiple things out a week uh, to keep everyone's inspiration and creativity up. So thank you so much. Bye.